I ain't even had my coffee. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting too spicy. I ain't even had my coffee. Good morning. You say I'm cool as Russian, but I'm coming for the passion. I'd like to get to know you. Why you thinking that I'm asking? Hey. Howdy King, good morning, Dark Ant! This is just another gate in the gold. Shout out to the Warriors! Hell of Ice Wind yesterday. Good morning. And even if I fail, DJ, good morning. And what good is this power if I use it like a fool? Southern Liz, good morning. Good morning, Miss Morning Star. Don't try to photocopy, you can never stop me. Dark Sun. Hey. Don't try to photocopy, you can never top me. I was born to be your winner, you can never stop me. Don't be wrapped up in your feelings. Don't try to photocopy when you out here being saucy. Yes, good morning. Don't be wrapped up in your feelings and be careful when you flash it. And when you play the game, man, you better know your option. Don't try to photocopy when you out here being saucy. It's getting too spicy, I ain't even had my coffee. I just put my watch on, you know what time. I'm chasing my purpose in this music business Let's get it in, I'm so focused on my mission There's no competition, there's no excuses for opposition Hey! And I'm motivated to be in the kitchen I gotta listen if I wanna make a different thing Can't be lost in an instant Now I'm making a living, so why the hell are they tripping? Is it because I'm the one? Good morning ladies and gentlemen I stayed in my lane, got to stay in your lane, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this show started. You know what we do? Miss Boss Diva. How you doing? That one, ladies and gentlemen. Deja vu. 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 Sitting in my living room, screaming how we hey. This is how we're supposed to have the week. Good morning. Famous. The algorithm turned to a maniac. Yeah, yeah. Guess we going viral because my zodiac. Yeah. I, I got, got all these numbers on my spreadsheet. Good morning, morning Jay. And if they use my ex, that means they left me. They don't Good morning, Miss Boss Diva. I say it with my chest because I'm in it. Got a lot of confidence and I'm conceited. Yes, yeah, good Come morning. The master with a new whip. Mama take off. Here we go. Shit. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna just do some live in a couple of days. Yes. That shit was radical. Very it radical. It was it was horrible. I'm like, you've gone Zeus has gone way off the rails. It's like deja vu. Yeah. It's like deja vu. I know. It's like deja vu. Good morning. It's like deja vu. Yeah, I'm off the rails. It's deja vu. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. How are all of you doing? Welcome. Gotta get straight to it, ladies and gentlemen. Zeus got a lot of lot of things to do uh, this lovely, lovely morning. All right, so let's get straight to it. Uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, uh, I go by the name of. Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H. Why do they call me Triple H, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's quite simple. The first H stands for honesty, all right? I am the most honest person on social media. I promise to tell you nothing but the truth, so help me God. 
Next H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I'm humble. There's nobody more humble than me. If I get it wrong, I will be the first to apologize. It just turns out I haven't been wrong lately. I don't know why that is, but I think it has something to do with all of the truth that I've been telling, all right? And then the last H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. <laughs> Nobody more handsome than me. Uh, you know what we do on this side of town, for those of you who are not familiar with the type of programming. This is rated Z programming for off the rails, all right? Because what we do is we hold our friends on the right accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump. All right? Uh, so listen up. If you are allergic to the truth, or as my good friend Brother Swervin likes to say, you're factose intolerant, right? You don't like those facts because it's too much. Um, you don't need to sit here and subject yourself to this 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 live because there's going to be a lot of truth coming, and it's going to be very difficult for you to bear, all right? So listen up. I'm going to give you an opportunity to leave, all right? Just go ahead, swipe out, and leave. But listen up. You don't got to take my word for it. What? Listen to your leader! If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, right. if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. And I do... I, I really do believe that that is the right thing for a lot of Trump supporters to do. Listen up, MAGA, all right? Uh, if you're sitting at home, really, and you're crying about President Biden and how he's not doing a good job, you know, yesterday they saw Biden giving a little bit of a message, you know, the back of the airplane wearing his pajamas, like a true winner. And these Trump supporters are out here talking bad and, and, and saying real nasty things about President Biden, almost as if they're siding with the enemy. So listen up, Mag. If you really want to make America great again, just pack your bags and head on over to North Korea and be with, be with uh, Kim Jong-un, all right? Or better yet, go have you some chocolate cake with President Xi, all right? Or better yet, why don't you take us up on our offer and take that first-class flight over there to be with your Lord and Savior, Vladimir disgusting war criminal Putin. But don't you dare say another thing about those of us here in the United States because as far as we're concerned, you're seditionists, treasonous, traitors, and you do not respect the Constitution. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They don't. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. They refuse to accept the results of a free election. So you know where we stand, all right? So um, I have received a complaint, ladies and gentlemen. I have had a Trump supporter complain to me, and they say, Zeus, I don't come to your lives anymore because they're full of lies and hate. Oh, I know. That's what they told me. Listen, listen. And to the individual who sent me that nasty, nasty message, all right? If you're going to message me, please message me and include some love in it, all right? Because we need a little more love in this country. But to the nasty MAGA-possessed demon that sent me that message, all right? Make sure you pull that truck over, all right? Make sure you put that remote control down, perhaps. Make sure you... Yeah, charge your, your cell phone in right now because I got a special message for your special behind, all right? You don't come here. It's not because this live is full of hate and lies. You don't come here because this live is full of truth and accountability. It's yeah, something you're not quite used to, all right? You don't come here because, just let's just be quite honest. You don't know how to sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. Yeah, you see, you like to go over to some of these right-wing uh, lives on TikTok, right? And you like 
to let these folks tell you everything's going to be okay. And they let you, they actually encourage you to be evil, toxic, bigotry, promoting, conspiracy theory, promoting hypocrites over there. But when you bring your special behind over here, we don't buy it. We tell you to cut it out. And, and we also tell you, we don't want to hear from you. It's like I've been saying, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing a Trump supporter can say to me to actually enhance my value. Thank you, Stick to Rula. There's nothing a Trump supporter can say to me to help enhance my value as an individual. They can't help me be a better person. They can't help me be smarter about anything. All they do is lie because they got a nasty MAGA possessed demon. So, yes, I'm so happy that you will not be coming here anymore. But I got one thing to say. I doubt that you won't be here. I'm pretty sure you will be here. But you won't be here with your main account. You'll be here with your backup account, right? <laughs> They'll be here. They're probably here right now with their backup account, screen recording every single thing that I say. And they're going to go and say, Zeus, I got you on tape saying this and that. And they're going to go post it on their profiles, perhaps, or upload it to whatever websites they get off on. All right. And, and then say, Zeus, we got you. And I'm going to tell them, yeah, you got me. But guess what? You're still losing. <laughs> all right. Now, one topic that I want to make sure we cover because it's something I have to keep uh, revisiting. And then we'll get into uh, today's topics. All right. Um, you know, you go into these snuggle lives. This one's for you, Snuggles. And he keeps asking me, why don't I condemn the BLM protests since I'm condemning the January 6th attack on the Capitol? Okay, Snuggles. Okay, Snuggles. You asked for it. Y'all, I'm gonna have to start charging these Trump supporters uh, a heavy fine. I gotta start snuggles twenty dollars at least every time I have to answer a question for you. All right, especially uh, one of your friends, Stacy, who always has a lot of a lot of questions and no answers. I want to make sure we settle this, and I can say this over here because if you go to a snuggles live, he won't let you say it because as soon as you start telling the truth. He drops you. So I'm going to make sure we get this out in the air. Um, and this is going to be called the difference between the Black Lives Matter uh, movement and the January 6th attack. All right, Snuggle. So one is a movement and then the other is an attack. All right. And let's get into it. Um, the Black Lives Matter protests and the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol were two distinct events with motive, different motivations, context, outcomes. All right. And here are some of the difference. Motivation. The BLM protest emerged in response to incidents of police brutality, systemic racism, particularly against black individuals, which was ignited in the wake of George Floyd's death on May 26, 2020. The protest aimed to raise awareness about these issues, uh, advocate for police reform and promote racial justice. Don't you believe in racial justice snuggles? The protests were decentralized and took place across the United States and around the world. On the other hand, January 6th attack on the Capitol was an attempt by a group of Donald Trump's supporters possessed with a MAGA demon, okay, to disrupt the certification of the electoral results of the 2020 presidential election. The attack, and key word is attack, was motivated by false claims of widespread voter fraud. So Snuggle, stop, stop pointing to those videos of Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss with the suitcase out there in Atlanta and saying the election was stolen, okay? But that right there, unacceptable, all right? And a desire to overturn the election results. I'm talking about the fake elector scheme. The focus of the attack was on the political process and the symbol of American democracy. You want to talk violence and destruction, Snuggles? <laughs> While some BLM protests did, did involve violence, the majority of the protests were peaceful. The main goal of the protest was to draw attention to issues of racial injustice, 
However, there were instances, there were instances of property damage and looting associated with some of the protests. But those, those incidences, snuggles, they were condemned. You see, there was some, there was some incidences like that, all right? And it was condemned by BLM, all right? In contrast, the January 6th attack on the Capitol involved a violent and destructive assault on the heart of the United States government. Rioters breached the Capitol building, vandalized offices, put their feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk, defecated in the Capitol. I mean, these are some disgusting MAGA-possessed demons. Stole property and engaged in physical altercations with law enforcement. The attack resulted in injuries, unalivings, and significant property damage. That's what happens when that MAGA demon takes over. There were some uh, what they call political implications. The BLM protest had a broad range of supporters, including activists, community organizations, and individuals advocating for racial justice and police reform. The protests also sparked discussion about systemic racism, law enforcement practices, and the role of government in addressing racial disparities. The January 6th attack on the Capitol wasn't quite the same. See, it was driven by a specific political agenda aimed at overturning the election results. The attack was widely condemned as an assault on democracy and an attempt to undermine the peaceful transfer of power. It led to the second impeachment of Donald Trump on charges of inciting an insurrection. This is what Donald Trump did. So ladies and gentlemen, listen up. It is important to note this, Snuggles, and this, and again, Snuggles, you owe me. It is important to note that the BLM protest and the January 6th attack on the Capitol were two distinct events and should never be equated or compared directly. You can't compare them, Snuggles, so stop it. HVAC, stop it. Bushmaster, stop it. And all you other MAGA-possessed demons, don't you ever compare the BLM movement with what you traitors did on January 6th. The motivations, methods, and consequences of each different significantly reflecting the diverse and complex nature of the Political and social movements affecting the United States. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, join me in giving Snuggles a round of booze and shame because I know he's not going to pay me for giving him this 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 new information. But I've just updated his I've just updated his hard drive, right? So, join me in giving Snuggles a round of booze and shame for trying to equate the BLM movement with uh, the January uh, January six terrorist attack on the Capitol. <laughs> I don't ever I don't want to talk about it. I'm I don't want to even debate it again. It's I've spoken on it. It's a done deal. We're not talking about BLM in January 6th over here, Snuggles. All right. Every time you bring it up, I'll ask, as a matter of fact, Snuggles, if you ask me that question again and we're talking, I'm just gonna drop out of your life. I won't even wait for you to try to kick me. I'm just gonna drop because I've already given you the information. It's now up to you, right? All right, now let's move on to today's headlines. All right. Uh you know, these Trump supporters, they love they love to mumble and grumble and complain about how terrible of a job President Biden is doing, right? They love to. Well, Snuggles and uh, who else is out there? All of you MAGA demons. Explain this. We got some good news coming out. All right. Uh, American household wealth jumped in the pandemic. Good morning, uh, political mom. Pandemic stimulus, a strong job market. And climbing stock home prices boosted the net worth at a record pace. This is according to what federal data is showing. So, wow. <laughs> I just want to make sure while we have these Trump supporters out here crying that they cannot afford eggs. You ever hear these folks? They say, we can't afford eggs. We can't afford gas. 
and we know they're sending their money to Donald Trump, right? But they make these claims, which we all know are based on lies, misinformation, and conspiracies. But this data, this data right here, is saying otherwise. American families saw the largest jump in their wealth on record between 2019 and 2022. So think about that. That meant Donald Trump going out of office and Biden coming in actually helped Americans. You know, that Build Back Better, that Bidenomics thing is something else, I tell you. All right. According to the Federal Reserve data released yesterday, a rising stock indexes, uh, climbing home prices, repeated rounds of government stimulus left people's finances healthier. This is awesome. Median net worth climbed 37%, ladies and gentlemen, over those three years, adjusting for inflation, right? Um, this is the biggest jump in record stretching back to 1989, all right? At the same time, the median family income increased 3% between 2018 and 2021 after subtracting out price increases. While income gains were most profound for the affluent, the data clearly shows that Americans made nearly across the board financial progress in the three years that include the pandemic. Savings rose, credit card balances fell, and retirement accounts swelled, right? So when you hear these folks saying that they don't have any money and they there's nothing in their 401 case, I want you all to know they're lying to you or they're not telling you the whole story, all right? Snuggles and all of you crying about your 401ks, do us all a favor. Stop sending your money to Donald Trump and send it to Zeus, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's give President Biden a round of applause because Bidenomics clearly is working, all right? And the Inflation Reduction Act is working, too. So, let's give President Biden a round of applause. <laughs> tell you i'm so glad to be a democrat i really am it's my honor it's a badge of courage i will continue to wear all right now let's get into some uh gop political business all right because we know the gop party is in shambles right let's get into this ladies and gentlemen so yesterday we all saw nasty jim try to become speaker of the house again and it failed miserably, right? Didn't it fail miserably? No! I just want to... No! It did. Um, and so Jim Jordan is now resorting... Well, he already was, but he's resorting to some evil tactics to try to get people... Thank you, Yazzie. He's resorting to some evil tactics to try to get people to vote for him. I've never seen desperation like this. I've never seen losing like this. But this is the definition of losing right here. Okay, Marionette Miller uh, Meeks, a, a Republican in Iowa, received credible death threats following her vote against Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House. And law enforcement is investigating the matter, all right? And this is serious. Uh, she didn't reveal the specifics of these threats but she says she is one of a small group of Republicans who initially voted for Jim Jordan, but changed her vote to a no, a resounding no in later rounds. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to just make sure we understand why Jim Jordan can't be Speaker of the House. He can never be next in line to be president, right? And on top of that, we know what Jim Jordan stands for and what he doesn't stand for, all right? Which is he doesn't have integrity, all right. He and you know what what actually surprises me is we got these Christians out here who openly support Jim Jordan, knowing what he did to these little boys. All right. So, uh, Jim Jordan, you can threaten people all you want. It's not going to work. All right. You can try to lie and intimidate and bully and threaten to put people in Boston crabs or whatever wrestling moves you already know. All right. But it's not going to work because nobody trusts you. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Jim Jordan. A round of booze and shame because he's not scaring anybody. He can't even scare this woman. This woman is so strong. I mean, she's a Republican and I don't like that. But I'm so proud of her for standing up to nasty gym mat, gymnasium, gymnastics, Jordan. Let's give him his booze and shame. <laughs> Still see 
there's some dissension in the comment section from MAGA. Listen, MAGA, if you don't like this live, if you don't like this truth, you can leave. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Uh, let me ask again uh, to my fellow Democrats out there. Are any of you holding MAGA, keeping MAGA here in the United States? Is there anybody out there in the audience that's, you know, uh, kidnapping Trump supporters and forcing them to stay in their grandma's basement or anything like that? Any, I'm looking, anybody out there forcing Donald Trump and his supporters to stay here? Mm. Well, okay, how about this? How about this? Listen, would any of you have a problem if they packed their bags and went to Russia? Would any of you have a problem if they went to Russia? By a show of hands, raise your hands. Mm. 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 I, I haven't seen one yet. You hear that? You see that, MAGA? <laughs> one said they'll drive you to the airport. All right. So listen up, MAGA. If you raised your hand, I know you're not a Democrat and you're just trying to troll Zeus. No one's raising their hands for you. You see how you see how disgusting you've became. You see how you how disgusting you've became in this country where we don't even want to hang out with you. Wow. Just wow. Y'all really ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Y'all really ought to be embarrassed by now. Really? How do you get on this app and open it up and show your faces? Really? I mean, most of you aren't even that attractive, to be honest. Most of you aren't that. Into How do you have the courage to wake up every day? I mean, these Trump supporters are something else, ain't they? They wake up every day. <laughs> you know, they turn the camera around and it faces them. They see their ugly face. They see their ugly face. And they and they see the MAGA demon, too. And they they somehow muster up the strength to hit go live. And they actually go live and show the world just how ridiculous and nasty they are. Y'all are really something else. I've never, I've, listen, I've seen a lot of things in my life. I've never seen anything like this. Folks proud to be ignorant. They, they openly are proud to be everything but good. The, what's the nastiest thing you could be? I'll be that and I'll go out here and I'll be the proudest version of that. These folks are sick. You know, they say be careful when you argue with fools because from a distance, you can't tell who's, right? That's why I don't like debating these folks because I actually have seen some of the videos and the conversations these, you know, some of my friends are having with these Trump supporters. And, and I'll be like, what's all that noise? Where's that? And I go and I look and I'm like, what the heck are they arguing? These folks is arguing with folks that are downright crazy. <laughs> Y'all should be ashamed of you. If I were a Trump supporter, I wouldn't go live anymore. I'd be too embarrassed. I'd be high. You know, some of them don't even turn their camera on. All right? They don't even want to show their face. And I figured out why. Because they know. They know just, they know deep down inside they look ridiculous. All right? By the way, uh, I do want to make sure I extend this olive branch to, to my good friend, Janae, who she says, Zeus, why do you always talk about me? Janae, listen up. How about this? I'll make a deal for you, Janae. If you come into my live and you turn on your camera, I'll stop talking about you, all right? How about that, right? <laughs> Y'all tell Janae. Y'all tell Janae. I'm pretty sure she's in here, on, in here on her back of a can. If she comes to my live and turns on her camera, I'll stop bringing up that name, all right? Because I want to see the face behind all of this. I really do. I really do, all right? <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get in trouble for that one. All right, let's get back on topic, all right? Oh, really, April? Really? Sydney Powell just pled guilty! <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me go check. You know, we got to go check. We got to go check this stuff. So she didn't even, she didn't even want to go to, she didn't even want to go to trial? 
Wait a second. I'm checking. I'm checking. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Oh. Whatever live these MAGA folks was planning to do today, it just got derailed. It just got derailed. I'm checking. I'm checking. Hold on. I'm checking. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Sydney Pell. Oh my God. That means, that means she did not want, she didn't want to take her chances. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 10 night. Trump attorney. Sydney Powell, oh my gosh, Trump attorney Sydney Powell pleads guilty in the election subversion case. Wow. Prosecutors are re recommending a sentence of six years probation. Powell will also be required to testify at future trials and write an apology letter to the citizens of Georgia. Oh my gosh! Ooh, that Fonny Willis. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta play Fonny Willis's track. I ain't played it in a second. Let's give it up to Fonny Willis. Y'all ready for some Fonny Willis? I am giving the defendants the opportunity to voluntarily surrender no later than noon on Friday, the 25th day of August, 2023. Today, based on information developed by that investigation, oh. a Fulton County grand jury returned a true bill of indictment. Wow! Every individual charged in the indictment is charged with one count of violating Georgia's racketeering Woo. and corrupt organization act. The indictment brings felony charges against. Donald John Trump, Ooh. Rudolph William Louis Giuliani, Nasty. John Charles Eastman, Mark Ready or not, Wow, you can't it's over. It's over, Snuggles. Go get my steaks. Go get my steaks. Three steaks. Voluntarily surrender no later than noon on Friday, the 25th day of Woo! Today, based on information developed by that investigation, oh, yeah. a Fulton County grand jury returned a true bill of indictment. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know what? That is something else right there. That is something else. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, let's give uh, Fonny Willis uh, a round of applause. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Trump supporters are going to be sick today. You mean to tell me she's now state evidence? She's turned state evidence? Oh, Donald Trump, his behind definitely going to jail. I wonder, I wonder what made her decide to sing a new tune. Oh my gosh. Well, listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we did kind of get off track a little bit, but uh, I will I will try to expedite this and get straight to it, all right? Oh my gosh. We'll come back and talk about this. This is this is incredible news, all right? It really is. Um so let's let's go straight here, right? Let's go straight here. I wanna. Well, we could talk about, we already talked about, I'll skip Marjorie Trader Green for a second. Uh, let's see, let's see, what do I want to talk about? There's two things that I wanted to bring up today. <clears throat> uh, let me see, uh, let me see. Uh, I did want to talk about the big fat lie, but we're not going to do that. No, 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 we're not going to do that, all right, all right, okay. I did want to bring this up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a white supremacist killer, ladies and gentlemen, uh, has been—he's been convicted 
And he said that he was radicalized by conspiracy theories and content from websites like Infowars. All right. All right. A man who ran down a family, a Muslim family, said he did so because he believed anti-Muslim conspiracy theories he found on fringe websites like Alex Jones' website, Infowars. <clears throat> the admitted nationalist, all right, who unalived a Muslim family, said he was inspired by neo-Nazi terrorists and anti-Muslim rhetoric he found on conspiracy websites like Infowars, all right, on his fifth day of testifying in a trial. Uh, where he was facing four, four first-degree charges, you know, unaliving. One charge of an attempted unaliving charge, as well as a terrorist charge. He, uh, he went on to say he did it because he was radicalized by these websites, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and he wrote a nasty manifesto before he did it. He was accused of driving a truck running down a family who was just waiting to cross the street. During his cross-examination, he said that he fell into white nationalist beliefs after falling down a radicalization pipeline. All right, and so this is why I'm bringing this front and center. Ever since this weekend, I've been talking to all of these women, these women out here who are dating and married to these MAGA men. And, and I'm giving you uh, a warning. All right, here it is. There's a warning. Listen up, you, you MAGA women out there. If you're dating a man that supports Donald Trump, your life's on the line. I'm being real serious with you. This guy is probably consuming the same kind of content. He's being radicalized right in front of your eyes. If you're dating a man and he, and you, and he tells you to be quiet or shut up, that's a sign. That really is a sign that you need to create some distance because this guy... Is out of his mind. He's possessed with a MAGA demon. He went on to say, I consume libertarian content. You know, some of them call themselves libertarians. Mainstream conservative content, he said on the stand. Then I slowly started looking at some alt-right content on YouTube. And then I stumbled across some more fringe. Every Trump supporter I've talked to has gone down this same Dark and dangerous road. This is how you get that MAGA demon inside of you. Because you're not that intelligent. You're emotionally unstable. You're weak minded. All right. You're sitting at home listening to Fox News. Then you turn on your TikTok app and you, and you go into a nasty uh, snuggles live or a live ran by one of his friends. And next thing you know, you're angry and upset and you're living in fear. Right. This is what we're talking about. And look at what it did. Uh, the content he described focused on the great replacement side of how many of you have heard of the great replacement. Listen, if you heard of that, that's a sign you've went too far. That's not really going to happen. All right. Have fun, uh, Marina. You too. All right. And so, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving this 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 clown, this criminal, this evil person a round of booze and shame. Because he allowed himself to be radicalized by Donald Trump and the mainstream alt-right media. If you tell me my opinion is outrageous, I'm going to sit here and tell you, you're a liar. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Fonnie Willis just got a conviction. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> Maga, you've got nothing right. You've got nothing right. When this is all said and done, Donald Trump's going to plead guilty too. I guarantee you. Because why go through all of that headache of having all of this business come out, right? He doesn't want all of his business to come out in, in court. Donald Trump's going to be pleading guilty soon, all right? All right, and now my last and final topic before I open up these boxes. We got a little off track, but it was worth it because Fonnie Willis stole the show, which is fine with me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got another MAGA demon on the loose. We really do. And it never surprises me how far this MAGA demon takes people. All right. This by far will go down in history as one of the 
nastiest, most disturbing MAGA stories I've ever had to cover. <clears throat> All right, because you got to think. When I when I when we go through this story, I just want you to think about the true victims. All right, I want you to really think about the true victims. All right. Uh, a man was arrested after deputies find him rocking in his van with stuffed animals. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I got to try to read this without laughing. But this is this is very disturbing, MAGA. This is very disturbing. All right. Uh, a judge found probable cause to charge Theodore uh, Morgavon the third. All right. With possession of controlled substances and meth and all these other nasty substances and public sexual indecency. Ah. Woo, that mega demon does. I've never seen anything like this. All right. According to these court documents at 12 45 a.m. Ladies, 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 try not to laugh. All right. This is serious. Try not to make Zeus laugh. All right. At 12.45 a.m., imagine what we all would be doing at around this time, 12.45 a.m., October 8th, a Baxter County Sheriff's deputy observed a vehicle at the Midway store and lock. He stated that he observed the vehicle was rocking. It was rocking. Yeah. When the deputy looked inside the vehicle, he reported observing Morgavon having S E X with a stuffed animal. <laughs> Upon learning that Morgavon had a search waiver on file from the Arkansas Department of Community Corrections, the deputy searched the vehicle and found a purse containing two marijuana pipes and a syringe the document said all right um while being booked into the baxter county detention center the affidavit stated another deputy found um three grams of meth inside of a purse all right ladies and gentlemen this is be this has to be the most disturbing maga demon story we have ever heard of Oh, you want to know what his name is? His name is Theodore T. Morgavon. Morgavon. It's funny. His last name ends in Van, right? Uh, the third. All right. But this is a great example of what happens when that MAGA demon gets a hold of your special behind. That MAGA demon will have your special behind rocking in a van at 12 a.m. with some stuffed animals. Mm. Right? Think about the victims in this. The stuffed animals. They didn't ask for this. They did not ask to be taken advantage of like this, ladies and gentlemen. But this is typical MAGA behavior, right? They see someone they think they could take on, and they end up doing what this gentleman tried to do. Steamroll stuffed animals. That's what he was doing. He was steamrolling. What are you doing in there? Oh, I'm just steamrolling a few stuffed animals, officer. Why are you here bothering me? Did he use protection? Right? I mean, this has to be the most disturbing situation I've ever read in my life. But I said, you know, I, as much as I don't want to cover it, I got to cover it so that these Trump supporters know just how ridiculous they look. All right? And he's definitely, you can tell, look at him. It, that's definitely a Trump supporter, right? That's definitely Trump. Right? He probably thought it was Melania or something. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving this guy a round of booze and shame for allowing the MAGA demon to have him looking like a trick in the back of a van. <laughs> All right. All right, listen. All right, I got to open up these boxes. What an interesting show today. What an interesting show. I you know, we had a lot a lot of ups and downs in this live today. Wow. Yeah, so uh let that be a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So you all know the rules. Um I don't want to hear from MAGA in the morning show. When I do lives outside of the kingdom, that's your opportunity to ask Zeus whatever you want. Or when I do the closet of truth, all right? 
But I don't want to hear from MAGA today because as far as I'm concerned, they have no credibility. I don't even, I, and by the way, if I do hear from you, I might be willing to entertain how you explain having this guy on your team. Because this guy, he should be the mascot for MAGA, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. He should be the mascot for MAGA. All right. So let's get to these boxes, ladies and gentlemen, and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in a box and tell the truth. All right. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, I did say that um, Janae, she can come in the box if she was willing to turn on her, her camera and put put her face behind all of this, uh, all these lies that she's been sharing. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Brother Itchy, what are you? Good morning, champ. How are you? Bruce, how are you doing this morning? I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you doing, my good friend? I'm I'm doing good. I'm kind of disturbed by the 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 information you gave out this morning. Uh, oh, I just want to know did anybody did anybody check on the stuffed animals? Has anybody checked <laughs> on the stuffed animals? Ah, that is a good question. <laughs> The stuffed animals are the victims, right? <laughs> they are definitely victimized. They, they have definitely been victimized. Yeah. Do you, do you think? Do you, do you, what do you think was going on in this guy's mind? I mean, I've never heard anything like that. Um. I mean, it was at twelve a.m. It was twelve a.m. You know, folks are supposed to be laying down, right? Long a long day of social media stalking. I can only imagine what he's done all day. You know. Yeah. Uh, 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 a long day of being on your knees in front of Donald Trump. You know, he had to get all that pressure off of him. Oh, oh, too much pressure makes the pipes burst, right? <laughs> literally. literally. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh, you, someone said Trump stuffed animals. He was. He's probably had some Trump stuffed animals. Oh, it wasn't there. a Trumpy bear, was it? Was it the Trumpy bear? Oh, with a little, with that a little melon, with a little, stranger. with a little melanin in it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I came up here because um, I didn't know that the, the information about Sidney Powell had got out and um, yeah. I just wanted to say or, or be one of the first to say uh -huh. that I told you so I told mm -hmm. y'all so they wait, wait, wait. are going to self implode go ahead Zeus no 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 wait wait when you say you told us so what, what, do, you, what do you mean by that oh oh um that uh, Donald Trump was going to single-handedly destroy the Republican Party. Yeah, oh, that part. Oh, yeah, that oh, part. yeah, that, yeah. That yeah. Part. <laughs> and, and everybody that jumped on the bandwagon with them and sold their souls for a, a little bit of power because he hmm. would never share power. He would right. never share power. So, right. so just a little bit of, of of power that you would have gotten just from being seen on stage with them, you mm -hmm. sold your soul for. Let me ask you a question, right? What would make a person flip in your in your understanding of how the the criminal justice system works? What would you think it is? Did you hear about Did you hear about all the probation she got for yes. telling the information? Did six years of probation for mm. a, for for a a lawyer? I can only imagine how much time she was facing. <clears throat> Yeah, she mm. was facing. A, she was facing a lot of time, and I think the charges that she were facing were 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 um, big charges. I don't think that these, I think they were bigly. These were mm. bigly charges that she was convicted with. Mm. Um, so instead, she took the plea of six mm. years Ooh. for an ex um, um, lawyer for a Ooh. lawyer who knows Ooh. the law. Ooh. Just imagine what information she gave up. It's over. It's, it's over, over, MAGA. It's, it's over. over. She's one of the. She's one of the ones at the top. Yes. Of this Rudy, this whole thing. Rudy Giuliani is next. Oh, he's gonna flip. Oh, yeah. This 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 game over. <laughs> but for my last thirty seconds, for my last mm -hmm. thirty seconds. Yes. Yes. I always do this when I come up here. When I. When I'm honored to, to be a, in, in, in um, up up here with you, Zeus, mm -hmm. can everybody do me a favor? Tap the screen for my last thirty seconds up here. Tap this screen. This man has actually went to other people live just to make sure that he delivered all of this information for y'all. Mm -hmm. He goes out of his way. He prepares a great show. So for me, mm -hmm. can you please? 
tap this screen. Give me a solid minute of tapping this screen. Let's get them past 50,000 before I get up out of here. Amen. And I will be a happy man. Amen. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, brother. I just want to tell you, yeah. I just want to tell you, man, keep doing what you're doing. Keep your foot on their necks because they can't stand you. And, Janae, I would love to see your face. (laughs) I would love to finally. Hold on, hold on. So you can see me. Mm. Oh. I would love to finally see your face. Right. Except the offer. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up. Thank today. you, Zeus. You're welcome, Brother Itchy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother Itchy a round of applause. No lies detected. Thank you, Shay. All right. Yeah, 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 Janae. If you if you don't want Zeus to mention you anymore, I promise you. Just come on in my live and, and turn on the camera and let's have a nice conversation about whatever you want. All right. We'll even play that song you like to dance to, uh, Jungle Fever. Right, Reggie? We'll play Jungle Fever for her. <laughs> Zeus, I can't stand you. That's what she says to me. Zeus, I can't stand you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up our next panelist, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Nutty Professor, what's going on, my brother? Have you decided so, to repent yet? Repent for what? All your transgressions for, in the kingdom. For being more handsome than you? Yeah, that, that stuff right there. Uh, bruh, bruh. I don't know if I'm using this in the right context mm-hmm. because, you know, I'm old, mm. but that's cat. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. you, see how they, you see how these folks do you? You see how they, these, these hypocrites do you, folks? They want to get out here and start lying in front of folks. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. I ain't got to okay. Anyway, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, get on my, Anthony gets on my nerve. Why? Anthony, I don't like you. Mm. See, why y'all always coming after me? So he knows I'm the one that gets up in your box and be like, tap that screen because mm. Zeus, is, Zeus is this, Zeus is that. Well, Anthony, you, you get on my nerves. Well, you get on my nerves, man. <laughs> Miss Boss Diva, let me tell you something. Oh, yeah, keep it. If you, come, if you come up in this box talking about how handsome Zeus is, I will come through this phone, ma'am, and we go, there's gonna be some furniture moving. There's gonna be some furniture moving. You, you are so not anyway. authorized to, to say a single thing about Miss Boss Diva, she's doing God's work. <laughs> so, right. anyway, so I want to talk about Jim Matt. Gymnasium. Okay, so, let's go. Thank so, you, April. Here's the deal. I am pleading with the Republican Party. Mm. If you want people to take you serious, then you should try being serious. Mm. Putting oh. Jim Jordan up as House Speaker, it's tantamount to saying, F you, America. You're right. flipping off all American people mm. because this man was part of that insurrection. You want this man to be a House speaker when he is in violation of the very house that he mm. wants to speak for. Yep. He still, I think the Department of Justice should have brought him up on charges yeah. for defying a congressional subpoena like they did other folks. <laughs> Yep. Because he is still in violation of a congressional subpoena to testify in front of the J6 commission. So you want someone who's in violation of a subpoena given by the very office, the very chamber that he sits in. You want him to become the speaker? Someone who's been in the legislature now for 16 years, mm. hasn't passed a bill, hasn't sponsored a bill, hasn't co-sponsored a bill. Why in the hell is he there? A hey, good point. The people of Ohio are being slighted. But then again, it's their fault. They should have mm. complied and not put him in office. Because, you know, you know, when things happen to us, Zeus, all we hear is you should have complied. Yeah, yeah. Should have. But they're not being represented because... What is it to be a legislature, a legislator, when you're not legislating? Mm. You're just there with the biggest mouth in the room, and that's what you've done for 16 years. You voted to overturn the 2020 election. Right. You He sought out a pardon from Trump for election crimes. He wants to ban same-sex marriage. 
which is disproportionately going to screw a lot of people over in this country. He supports a national abortion ban. Tell him. Tell him Again, no legislation in 16 years. And furthermore, his biggest trophy, his biggest trophy, he helped cover up a sexual abuse of more than 150 plus victims when he was a wrestling coach at Ohio State. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. There's one part I want to address with you. Our good friend, uh, Janae, she supports Jim Jordan. What do you think of that? Oh, you, uh, you, you mean our resident victim, Janae? Mm -hmm. yeah, our, I mean, I, and I bring her up only because I know she says she does a lot of work to help. There's a lot of people like her. They say they do a lot of work to help children and they and they say that they're Christians. But so I guess I guess Zeus, I guess here's the rationale. I guess once you go to college, mm. you're no longer a child. Mm. So that's their rationale. So when they say they want to help oh, children, oh. they want to help children. It's not, it's not, you know, even though they're 18, 19, I mean, 20, 20, 21 is still a child to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's somebody's child. But the fact is, is that they don't care about children. Mm. That part. They don't care about children. That the part. fact is, he knew that these boys were being abused as their coach. Tell him because that. some of these victims went to him and mm. reported it to him. And mm. what did he do? He did the same thing that he's doing right now in Congress. Nothing. Well, listen up, uh, Nutty. Your friend attacking is complaining that you are at three minutes and fourteen seconds. Would you? Is there anything? You, 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 you know what, attacking, I'm going to attack you. Anyway, <laughs> Jesus, as always, my friend, like Itchy said, I agree with him. Y'all tap the screen. Have a wonderful day and yeah. have a great Thursday, man. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Nutty Professor. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're celebrating today that Fonnie Willis got uh, Sidney Powell to cave in, all right? Uh, and it's one step closer to Donald Trump being in prison, right? So Snuggles, you know, you like to say zero convictions. And then you like to say, tell me Zeus, is Trump in jail? And I tell you, well, he's not. But he's close, all right? And he just got a lot closer today, Snuggles. A lot closer. And that's thanks to the good work Fonnie Willis and her team are doing. All right, let's bring up our next panelist, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good morning, Miss Boss Diva. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles, yeah, don't go live, Snuggles. It's nutty, not a nutty good day professor. For you. See, you've been sneaking in here, and I didn't see you, mm. so I didn't get a chance to say good morning to you, right? Did he say? Did he say good morning to you? No, no, I don't think I didn't see it. I did not see it at all. Yes, boo him. Thank you. Thank he's you, always nuttying up the live. Right, he he just did, right? Three minutes yeah. over. You know, you only get three minutes, man. Come on. Right, yo. right. right. <laughs> Tell and him. as far as Zeus being the most handsome, you absolutely know he is. I don't know how what I you're thinking. How am I looking out there? Yeah. Oh, you're looking so, so fine and divine. Thank you. Absolutely, Nutty. Zeus. Nutty, take notes, you hear that? okay? Take notes, Nutty. Don't hate, just take the <laughs> notes, all right? And make sure you screenshot it. All right, I'm out here looking real perpendicular on Nutty. <laughs> yes, and, and so just to make sure you understand, Nutty, you are only secondary. You're not mm. on top, okay? Mm. There you Thank go. You there heaven. you go. Mm. But I'm I'm very very happy. Thank you, April, mm. for bringing us that that breaking news of um you know the Kraken wanting to get released. She was like, release the Kraken. I got. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't do it no more. Yeah. So I'm glad that she got, you know, she got six years probation or whatever. She got to testify, six six thousand dollar fine, which yeah. I still think is not enough, even so, for what she's done, right? And that letter, I already know that letter is not going to be sincere, mm. you know, as far as I'm concerned. Because what know, do you think the conversations was like, you know, with her family about that plea deal? You know, somebody was telling them to take it, right? Yeah, they absolutely was. You know, it was like, look at you. You know, you old. You can't be sitting in no cold metal Jails. and concrete, you know, cell. Oh. You know what I mean? For the rest of your life. You mm. got this Rico. Rico, you already know. You're a lawyer. Mm. You know already that five years minimum on Rico. The judge can say up to 20. Oh. He can, he can 
use the range you know he doesn't have to stay at five years you know this already so if you might as well because you know you're guilty you know you've done all this <laughs> you, know you, <laughs> you might as well come clean get it in now and that way you know and, and testify against trump he don't care about you mm. evidently you lost your law license you mm. know you i mean all those years and money time sydney swing, powell you know sydney powell yeah, yeah, Sydney Powell it lost everything. So I'm sure her family was in her ear telling her what she needed to hear, mm. you know. And uh, obviously, she did come. I'm sure she spent many, many nights crying, <laughs> you know, about her freedom, about, you know, what's going on. I mean, her life is just in shambles. Absolute shambles. <laughs> you, could just, you could just imagine. Yeah. Good job, you know, and Willis. I love it for her because yeah. you, as a grown Old wrinkled lady like you are, you've been on this earth long enough to know right from wrong. Bingo. Okay. Tell him. Tell him. You know what I mean? So Tell him it's with, wrong, with that with that being said, hey, you know what? I, I love it for you, Sydney. You know what I'm saying? And you should have got more probation. You should have really? got more of a fine. And yeah, because you know, but her testimony's pretty valuable, so you know. Hey. Yeah. Bonnie yeah. Willis, I love you, Queen. If you listening. I love you, Queen. I love you too. You Queen. are such a bad prosecutor with the <clears throat> A, with a. the ASS yeah. part, right? Tell them. But tell uh, them. love you, Zeus. I heard all my right. my bell. Love you guys in the kingdom. Good morning, all everybody. Right. I see y'all around. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Miss Boss Diva. Uh. No lies detected. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. We are, we are doing the Lord's uh, work. All right, all right. This is what we do. All right, good morning, my good friend. Brother Attacking, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Hold on for a second. You already got the big... That's my what? vacuum cleaner. What Check is that? There. What? Let's go, nutty. <laughs> 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 wow! Wow! That's, that. Is that what Nutty does when he nutties up the line? Oh, he he his name changes from Nutty to Kirby after three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You see what you do, uh, Nutty? Cut it out. I love Challenger. Nutty. So as soon as April made that comment about Sidney Powell, I left you and I broadcasted the, the, the DA because they showed they showed it live. Okay. So, uh, yeah, six, uh, six years probation, $6,000 fine. That sucks. Mm. Mm. But guess what, dude? T talk to me. On the 23rd, you still have Cheeseboro. Oh, do you think he's going to make it? I think he's going to tap out, too. I think he's going to tap out. Because if she's a witness... That's going to be against Cheeseboro. It's too. over. It's, it's this, over. It's over. And, and, and Snuggles, I don't know how you're going to spin this. Please, Snuggles, tell it. try you know, to spin it. Right. He's going to spin it. And Janae, what, you know what you should do is have Janae, forget the, forget the camera. Mm. Have Janae come up and, and, and say that Donald Trump is an essayer of women. Oh. But she well, won't we do have, that. We'll have the conversation with her camera on, that's for sure. Yo, know, I don't care about cameras because I don't turn my mine on because you know when I was on. Uh, well, Paris, you bring like, truth. You bring truth, though. Yeah, you, exactly. But the thing is, this, we need to see the camera. You have you have people falling like freaking dominoes, mm. and it's it's going to lead up to Trump. You have Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen next week is going to be talking to Letitia James. And oh. Oh. And you heard about Donald Trump almost having a conniption fit. Yeah. yeah. You know, blowing his top. Yeah. Can you well, imagine yeah. when yeah. Michael Cohen comes up and starts talking? Mm -hmm. I can. I can. Need, he's going to need two pair of adult diapers on because he's going to shit poop. Keep it clean. I, I, I said poop. I almost said the S word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been more time. important. It would have been better if I was able to say the S word. I know, but, but uh, you got to keep it clean, attacking. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is fantastic, April. Thank you. I popped on to, I popped on the news really quick on my broadcast, you know, for mm. a few minutes. Uh, but I'm going to show it from uh, because it'll be on YouTube. I'm going to show the video. 
Yeah, I got to go back and rewatch it after this show. Oh. Like, I, I want I want to see the reaction. Just so you know, she was there. Who? Sydney Powell. Oh, oh, I would have hoped she's there. Yeah, she was there. She was she was the tall the tall chick with the dark uh, uh, coat on or whatever, and she had a scarf. So she stands like six two or something like that. She's a tall wow. woman. Wow. Tall woman. But anyway, I won't suck up any more time. All right. Well, thank you, Attacking, for the update. Thank I you, love you guys. Oh, uh, you're, right. you're still not that handsome. I know. I know you think that, but you're absolutely wrong. Get, get Attacking out of here. Nutty. Nutty and Attacking. Listen up. Jealousy is a sign of weakness. And you two are too old to be acting like this. All right? Cut it out. And I do mean that. Yeah, lots of lies being detected from these two. I don't know what their, what their, uh, what their issue is. You know, uh, I do want to make it a point to say, uh, let's get, uh, oh, my gosh, my good friend April. All right, I know you got to get to work in the mornings. How are you doing, April? I'm great. All right. How are you? Hey. Another one bites the dust. Hey! Another one go, another one go, another one go. It's coming! It's, it's coming! Co- one Tell them, April! They falling! They falling like dominoes, ain't they? Yeah, I wanted to come up because, you know, I, I messed up the time when you were going to talk about the three toed sloth cro magnum looking woman. Uh, you know, uh, uh, in, in Congress. Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. We can skip that over this. This definitely takes precedence, if you ask me. It really does. All right? Oh, because, oh, oh. because what Fonnie Willis is doing is being underrated, you know, undervalued. A lot of these Trump supporters, they don't understand how serious this is. And what this did, it sent a very, very powerful message through MAGA to, you know, it's over. I mean, imagine this. You're Rudy Giuliani, and you just found out Sidney Powell took a plea deal. So You so could have been the first one. He should have been. The, he's probably saying, I should have took the plea deal first. That's the third one now, because we, yeah. what was this, Scott Howell? It's going to be a race. It's going to yeah. get, it's going to be a race. Oh, <laughs> my God. They're all sitting there going, if she talks, it's over. And and what um it's over. Oh yeah. Yeah, but the the biggie <laughs> oh, this I, I won't I won't Giuliani up there. Oh Lord have mercy. Please let him go to trial. You want Please him to go to, go did, to don't trial. you think he's gonna take a plea deal at this point? Don't you think Giuliani No, no, no. he he's got an ego, he's got a, a prideful manner that he's gonna go down fighting, just like Trump. He's gonna go down right with Trump. I look forward to seeing it because he's an alcoholic, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this Trump next to an alcoholic lawyer, yeah, going down the drain, yeah. <laughs> but let's get back to the three toast sloth. Let's talk okay, about. Okay, so the hypocrisy. Uh oh. Am yeah, I good? It, yeah, you're good. You were about to lay okay. in. <laughs> so the three toast sloth and her hypocrisy. Mm. about comparing January the 6th to the the protesters that were sitting right sitting there they weren't you know promoting uh the the lynching of uh, a vice president right they weren't destroying property nope. they weren't threatening to pull the speaker of the house at the time uh down flights of stairs Mm-mm. Uh, they weren't smearing feces on the wall. They weren't doing any of this. They were protested. That's how you do it. Mm. We, we know MAGA has a comprehension problem. So that's the example of Tell a them. protest. You sit there, you protest, you sing, you, you yell, you whatever. But you don't do this stuff we we know what happened january 6th so the hypocrisy that she keeps it oh i want to see the footage i want to see the footage it ain't gonna help her it's not gonna help them april it's not gonna help they want to look for every excuse to not be held accountable but it's not gonna work it's not gonna work Mm -hmm. oh no it's not gonna work and and 
How many times are we going to put, not we, let me change that. Tell them. How many times are we going to allow the Republicans to keep putting up these traitorous, treasonous, uh, ignorant uh, people up for speaker? Everyone is associated with trying to destroy our election process. And they're promoting them, putting them up as speaker. It was bad enough with uh, McCarthy. But right. good God. Jim Jordan? It's crazy, yeah. Zeus. Nasty. Okay, yeah. I got I got to go, but I was right. just excited about the Sydney Powell thing. And yeah. You, yeah. You know, thank I, you I have for a... bringing that to our attention while, you know, while we're live. It's always nice when we get new news while we're doing the show, right? All right. You have a great one, sweetie. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful April a round of applause. <laughs> no lies detected. You know how we do over here on this side of town. We tell the truth and we shame the devil. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Sister Takesha. How are you? Hey, Zeus, how are you? I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom. I got a song, Zeus. I got a song. Play it. Yeah, let's play it. You can't make me laugh while I'm singing it, okay? All right. I got a little bit of a, we got a situation, some technical difficulties or something. All right, let's go. You ready? Yes, let's go. <clears throat> okay. Rock about Teddy Wagabin <laughs> Rock. Flogging his lock <laughs> till the cops is stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Going to jail. Oh, public sick. Oh, got me wondering if Teddy Ruxpin was next. Hey, well, well. <laughs> nasty, nasty on top of nasty. To keep so. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, no lies detected. So he was in there. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting it up with Teddy Bells, man. He had no choice. It was Paul Bells, man. Or Paul Bells. What is anyway, <laughs> that was so funny to me. I couldn't get myself together, man. Oh my God. Listen, ah! you, you, really, you really gotta be married to Trump to want a bell. I don't know what his problem was. Uh, mm. oh, I geez. don't either. I, but he was he was getting it on, huh? <laughs> Listen, like Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. Listen. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to See, now I can't listen to that, uh, that song Rock without that, thinking baby. about that van. Without, I know. I'm I can't sorry. listen to that song without thinking about that van rocking in the Ooh, teddy bears. <laughs> rocking the treetop all day long like Happy Woo! Day. Hey. I, he thought he was in Happy Day. <laughs> Mm. Come Listen. over, come over, Jordan. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I hope the day is twenty-four votes. Mm. I hope really? that each day they vote, two more Republicans do like I hop and flip. Oh, because, yeah, the pancake. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Ain't no way in the world they really want this man to represent them. Mm. They really don't. L Listen, if they got any morals. Mm. If they care anything about children, <laughs> right? If they care anything about legislation, if they care anything about uh, the government, sh <coughs> uh oh, shut down. Yeah, what they, gonna do? what they gonna do? They not gonna vote him in. Mm. The people Amen. that's on the ones that are on appropriation committees, they not gonna vote for Jim Jordan. I don't care how many votes they have. They not breaking because they know he not gonna he not gonna put those through and we need those. Tell you got them. some real Republicans that still got good sense. Mm, you got you. some real Republicans that's running over the Jim Jordan side, but they not he not gonna win. Yes. Yeah. They're gonna be voting till Christmas, waiting on somebody to uh what a shame. Votes. What a shame, right? What a shame. If the folks didn't want you after two times and you had <clears throat> you had two people to flip against you, let it go. <laughs> Put somebody else up there. Yeah. I don't care how many strands you throw to the left side. That ain't helping them folks want you. Tell them. Tell them. Get away, Tim. Get away. 
Go and turn yourself in for letting those kids get SA. That's what you do, Mr. No Morals. Don't you do it. That's why you have fallen out strand by strand. Uh. Every time you sit up and try to deny the Lord, let a strand fall out. <laughs> Soon Woo. he ain't gonna have nothing to come over. Yeah, you're not. Stank it's still. gonna be nasty, sweaty, bald Jim Jordan. Exactly. Mm. I Can just you imagine what he smells like. What do you think he smells like? He smells like a gym bag, <laughs> full of cologne. Nasty. He cover up what he let him in that gym. Oh. oh so we gonna ew. call him Gym Bag Jordan. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. It was disgusting. All right, I just had to come up and give you that good song, and uh, all right, because I'm be laughing at that man all day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you find a video, send it to us. So I gotta like, find one. I gotta find one. Uh, all right, Zeus. We'll never, we'll never look at vans the same. Vans we will never look at vans the same. Nope. All right, everybody, y'all have a good day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Tequila. <laughs> we'll never look at vans and stuffed animals the same after this mega demon did what he did you know you go to a, a, one of those state fairs and you see the stuffed animals there now every time you walk past just know there's a trump supporter out there that wants to take those stuffed animals and take them somewhere very dark dangerous and nasty and, and, and we need to actually start a new a new movement all right teddy bear lives matter <laughs> <laughs> Teddy bear lives matter in this kingdom, all right? If I see some, if I catch one of you Trump supporters bothering one of those teddy bears, that's you and me. All right, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Shay. <laughs> well, you know, I got some you Zeus stop. There's some Zeus teddy bears, right, that I sell. And, and now I got to start protecting them. I might have to, you know, up the, price, up the price on those teddy bears so they can't afford them. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, I am dead. That is so hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that is I mean, what are you supposed to be doing at twelve a.m., Shay? I mean, I'm not the, the sharpest tool in the shit. But what should a what <laughs> should a person not sleeping or yeah. you know falling asleep yeah. on someone's live? That's how exciting my life is. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Not rocking with some animals. <laughs> 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 And, and, and he got caught. Listen, like, listen. <laughs> he got caught too. That's the problem. Because in terms of noise, he should be the only one making noise. Oh uh, well, yeah. I guess yeah. I mean, unless they have those, you know, they have those uh, build a bears that you can put uh, voices in. So maybe he took a build a bear mm. and recorded his voice. You know, mm. basically saying, "Yes, Daddy, spank me, Daddy." Yes, ah! <laughs> All kind of nasty. That that van needs to be burned. That van needs to be burned, as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't need it. Sorry, but that van got to go. I would never want to buy a used van, and then I knew that happened. I'd get rid of that thing. I just pray they didn't give those teddy bears away from for to homeless children or foster children. God forbid. Like, right. Dad, what's all over my teddy bear? It's stinky. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm. I mean, he had he had he had that stuff in there with. I mean, what was he trying to do? Party with him too? I don't know. I'm just this is so. You, you, take, you take some. You you try some of this. It's not going to do anything. Just try a little of it. You know, he was getting the hit. He was trying to get the bears hooked. You know, so he could, so he could make a move because his game wasn't good enough without that stuff. So you know, he had to get them to lower their defenses. And, Take a little of that, take the edge off before daddy gets busy in this van. I'm just wondering if he <laughs> took him out to dinner, lit some candles, like, what did he do? Like, I'm done with this guy. I'm so oh. done. Oh, okay. God. So, uh, April took my subject, but that's all right. I still love you, sis. Um, all right. But, yeah, so, I, you know, I heard that all day on the lives is like, there's an insurrection. Look at these. You know, pro Palestinians in our capital. Yeah. And you watch the three toed sloth, you know, basically on there. Look at this insurrection. Where are the right. cops? You know, right. where this, you know, all this stuff. And then she wants to censure to leave. Mm. You know? Yeah. And, and I, I sit here and go, good cry. You know, the only people are going to believe you about the people that are as dumb as you are. Like, 
most people with a brain in their head understand you have every right to protest your government. That is your First Amendment right. It's the full Ab- part of the First Amendment. Okay? Absolutely. And they are very much, because they know that this government stands for Israel. So they're just saying, listen, we got to stop the atrocities. Yes, it was a horrible attack by Hamas, but there are many innocent children and people because they're basically just obliterating the Gaza Strip. Because usually mm. Israel will just hit specific on target like a hair on a frog, right? Right, right. And that's a good target. Yeah, it's a good freaking day. Hair on a frog. I never heard Hair of that on a frog. one. Yeah. yeah. And now they're just leveling it. And I knew that was what was going to happen. Um, but there, yeah, half of the 2 million residents are children. And it is. It is It is sad. And so that's what they're doing. They're just asking for a ceasefire. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. They're not... They're not chanting anti-Jewish rhetoric or anti-Semitism or anything. You can protest against the Israeli government without it being anti-Semitic. And so it's mm. real important that everybody understands that. Well, well, Kit, what about the, you know, um, them being in the Capitol without permission? Was that an issue? Yeah, I mean, many of them did, uh, I think, got arrested because of that. So there were arrests because they were inside without permission. You're supposed to stay outside. Then if you're if you do get permission to come in, then you can do that. But normally they don't allow protesting within the Capitol, obviously. But, Mm. you know, standing outside or any of that and protesting because a lot of them were outside. So, yes, so they went in. That was wrong. And they got arrested for that. Yeah. So it, it's staying along the same lines as the January Sixers. You're not allowed inside government property, federal property, without permission. And you're not allowed to make noise and intercede, especially when the Capitol is in session. And exactly. Um, and it was closed. Yeah. yeah. They weren't having, like, just like on January 6th, they weren't having tours. They weren't any of that. So... It, it's important that you follow the law, guys. I mean, if you're the party of law and order, then you understand what happened yesterday, and then yeah. you also cannot compare it to January 6th. It's absolutely oh, no, 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 no. We'll never compare that to January 6th. Yeah, she, she covered the stark differences between the two, so I don't want to go back over that. Um, but, yeah, no, let, let's let's get a grip, people, so, shall we? Let's yep, get let's get a grip, all right. And I can't wait to watch the dominoes fall. Sydney Powell, here comes yeah. Rudy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna they're gonna be flipping. They're gonna be flipping. And oh. if I if I was Trump, I would just go ahead and flip too. Go ahead, Trump, do it. Oh my god, yeah. They're gonna be flipping like dolphins or pancakes and yeah. yes. And we knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. So I, I can't wait for you to be eating your juicy, juicy burger and steak sign. I'm gonna get a burger and steak all yeah. on snuggle. Done. Yes. yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I heard the bell. Thank you so All right. much. Thank All you. All right. For the gifts, nope. everyone. All right. Love you guys. Love Ladies you and gentlemen, the beautiful shade. Love you too. <laughs> no lies detected. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's like my grandmother always says: tell the truth and shame the devil. <laughs> All right. They don't like me because I tell the truth. Well, guess what? I'd rather tell the truth. And be realer than you than to be out here believing lies and misinformation. All right, let's get it going. All right. Good morning, Stacy. How are you? Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I just came up to thank all of you people who go live. Oh. I, oh, I love it. I learn from you guys. I'm sitting, though, at home. I'm... I get so angry. I just I don't know if y'all can tell sometimes in the comments, but oh. I have to be keep it clean on Zeus's. So mm-hmm. I come here in the morning to get refreshed and clean. And yeah. then in the evening I can go <laughs> get, and let some get vinegar. down into the weeds, right? <laughs> Sharp elbows yes. and all, right? Yes. But I'm frustrated that when they come in to say, Can you show me? Show me where he said that. Where did yeah. he say that? Can you look it up? I mean, people, really? I mean, where do you people live? Where did you grow up? So I'm just needing That's to a good question. a little. Yeah, That's a good question. They, they get out here, and like I said earlier, right? It's amazing how they have the confidence to turn on their cameras and show the world just how ridiculous and stupid they are, ain't it? Stupid. I can't <laughs> that, yeah, and I, mean, and and I shouldn't way. say it. I shouldn't say that because I'd like to keep it clean, but thank you, Ann. It's, 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 it's quite impressive. 
Yes. I mean, could you imagine the confidence it really takes to open up this app and show the world how ridiculous you are? Yes. And then the title of Christian, like what? And I know there's not a lot of believers out there, and I'm not mad. I mean, I I am shocked. I'm like, who yeah. who would want to follow that or love that God? I mean, really, people? Yeah. So, you know, I'm a Christian. I won't push it on people. Right. And I'm one of those ones where God's still working on me, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Like, I'm the bishop with the burner. That's what I hey. say. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 I, I'm still not playing. Yeah, I know you, you're not ready for that one yet, but hey. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm listen, not. you want my game. A bitch, I'm the bishop with a burner on me. Wow. Right. Yeah, because I'm listen, not playing with them. Listen, you know, they I, always I, I, I know stick talk when I hear it, all right? Now cut it right. out, Stacey. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. What in the world have we gotten ourselves into? I mean, what a, what a, what a nasty situation this country is in. We got to yep. talk this way. Folks hanging out in the back of minivans with teddy bears. I mean, what's really going on? <laughs> straight idiots and straight fools. But yeah, mm. and they're racist as crap. This is what really gets me. They say they're not racist, but as soon as you piss them off or they, you guys say something they don't like or show a picture they don't like. What happened? As a, as a live event was last night, they just go in with the hard N words and the ERs and that's all they have, you know? Yeah, yeah. Behind yeah. those screens. And if you see them on the street, they wouldn't do nothing but run, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, at least the ones I've met, I don't know. I yeah, would they pretend to stay and fight, but hey. Listen, th these folks, they're pretending. They say they want a civil war, but they're out of shape, right? These folks right. don't really want this smoke. They know the best thing they could do is sit down on that couch, watch Fox News, and drink a Diet Coke. Right? Couldn't, couldn't catch me if you tried. Couldn't no, bust a grape no, if your last no. name was Welch. So, yeah. <laughs> So those type Fair of enough. Right. Yeah. So yeah. That's what I just wanted to come and say thank you. Thank you to all, all right. you people to go live. I love you. Well, several of the people in this live uh, now. I, I just love the boldness and the truth that I hear. So thank you. You're Have a welcome. great day, everyone. You're absolutely welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful Stacy a round of applause. <laughs> I like you guys. I got you. Don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry. All right. All right. Let's get up here and give it a go. Oh my gosh. I got to take care of my subscribers. Um, good morning, Bamba. How are good you? Good morning. How I can't help you? but hear tickle me, tickle me, tickle me. Hey. It was tickle me Elmo that made yeah. him do it. Oh, is that what they said in the back of the van? I'm thinking, don't you? <laughs> Oh, don't tickle defile. Me, listen, me, listen, me. listen. Now you got Elmo all in the mix with this. Yeah. Oh, Elmo. my God, man. You know, listen. he sits there, he vibrates. Oh, cut it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are saying Teddy Bear. I'm going, no, no, no. It was Elmo. Oh. Mm, yeah. he was trying to, you don't think he was trying to have like a, a menage? Uh, what are they well, calling? maybe. He's, he's maybe it was Bert. Maybe yeah. Bert. Oh, listen. He had he was having his way with that uh with yeah. those stuffed animals, wasn't he? Don't ever I mean ever I mean I mean bam, accept, but let's be honest. Oh, yeah. go for it. I don't ever accept stuffed animals, hand me downs. Uh uh. Nope, this guy he took it away from us. We don't no. take them. No, no use stuffed really animals. Do. Yeah, no, no, they're always pretty gross. Yeah, no, no. Huh. What do you think? I mean, you gotta be putting in a lot of work to get a whole van to make a bunch of noise to set off. You know, the That's police. Class Salvation Armies, yeah. 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 I mean, he, he was at, at midnight, right? These are police officers. They caught this guy in the back of a van taking advantage of these stuffed animals. Yeah. And they said that the van gave it away. The van was rocking like it's never rocked Yeah, before. see, that's Elmo. That's Elmo. Yeah. I bet yeah. you he had 10 Elmos. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you follow somebody a three-toed sloth, and I keep telling you, don't forget the fourth, the camel what? toe. Oh, cut it out. Oh, man, yeah. You know, every time I put that picture up now, they say it's a fake. <laughs> Somebody reports it for AI. I yeah, would yeah, not yeah. know how to make an AI with a camel toe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, my goodness. no, no. Mm. So, you know, I know a lot of, a lot of my Democrat friends say, no way, but I have to say... Wouldn't you love it if somebody nominated Liz Cheney? 
I heard for about speaker that. of the house i uh, called yeah. i called my congresswoman and told her yeah you they, told her yeah i yeah, called I, and left a message i said get liz cheney in there yeah but they yeah. sounded so dejected on the phone unfortunately my district you know was restructured and i yeah. ended up with a republican mm. Mm. and so i called and i said you this is the most embarrassing Congress I've ever witnessed. Wow. But, you know. But Liz is, Cheney would definitely do a lot in their party. Oh, my I guess, gosh. To help could get you imagine? Yeah. I know a lot of Democrats would vote for her just because she put country and mm. and the Constitution before her career. Yeah. Wow. And I yeah. personally didn't like her, you know, but yeah, I like, have to say she's, still, she's an American hero. Yeah. Yeah, she, she stood up to these guys. So everybody call your congresswoman. Wouldn't it be funny if the Democrats nominated her? Yeah. And then all the Republicans voted for her. Tell them, Bamba. Yep, yep. So everybody call your congressmen. Just see, get a temperature on their offices. It's like they pick up, hello. They're really bummed out. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have a great day, everybody. Who knows right. what's coming? Yep. All right, Bamba, and you too, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to the beautiful Bamba. No lies to take See, we just get in here and we tell the truth. Southern Lib, thank you so much for the subscription. You know how this goes. Oh, yes. Well, listen, that puts you right at the front of the line. Let's get it and go. Let's go, Southern Lib. What do you got? How you doing this morning? Oh, hi. I, I wasn't expecting to get that. <laughs> oh, no, no. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How, how is everybody today? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. How are you doing? I am doing wonderful. So uh, what do y'all think about the, uh, I'll say the, uh, the poop show in the, uh, uh, the Congress right now. Oh, and, okay. Uh, wait just hey, a minute. Oh, no, I'm doing this completely wrong. You, you know what I'm trying to do because, you know, I think that, uh, oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Snuggy, oh. I think that he has a teddy bear. You think? I think that he has a Trump teddy bear. Yes. Should, should we launch an investigation into this? I think we should, and give me mm. just a second, and I'm going to, I'm going to do some confession. Oh, no! That was Snuggles! <laughs> so we meet again, Snuggles. Yes, I have a Trumpy bear, and and your story <laughs> gave me some great ideas. Oh, and what what kind of ideas did it give you? Because I hope you went. Well, I've got to keep I've got to keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got to I keep it clean, Zeus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so, so those you like those I, bears? Yes, yes, mm. and I just uh, remembered that I had a Trumpy bear. So mm, mm. there we go. I've got some ideas for what, later this evening. What color is your Trumpy bear? After you know I tell lies. Oh. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Oh, it's a red, white, and blue Trumpy beard. Does it have the long hair on it too, like Trump? It, it's got a toupee, yes. Oh. Mm. It's, it's okay. not real hair. It's just a toupee. Mm. Uh, when you go out and you go out to like restaurants and stuff like that, have you ever taken the Trumpy bear with you? Be honest. Uh, I put it in my man purse. Mm. Your man purse. Interesting, yeah. interesting, interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, <laughs> have, have you, uh, do you got more than one Trumpy bear, perhaps? Or is it just one? Because, you know. Just the one. Mm. The one and only Trumpy bear. <laughs> I love Trump so much. Mm. And and you... I'm going to have fun with my Trumpy bear after I get on TikTok and steal everybody's no, 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 no. with my live brow. Uh, see, here's the problem here. You said the word fun, but I don't think what you're doing with that bear is fun. I actually think it's kind of deranged. Well, you think it's deranged, but Snuggles thinks it's fun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? Have you no shame? Mm. If the bear could... No, no what, what would this bear say about you if it could say something? What do you think this bear would say? Oh, the bear loves me. Mm. It's the Trumpy bear. Of course mm. it loves me because mm. I tell lies for my Trumpy bear. Mm. Mm. 
Let me see. I always tell lies. I told you there. You see? Yes, yeah, see? Snuggle, I'm going to give you some advice before you get up out of here. You're not supposed to use the bear like that, and that bear shouldn't be making you that happy. Seriously. Get help, all right? Snuggle. I do want to say, thing, say something on one serious note. All of you people, you maggots in the comments and listening, you guys are absolutely... <laughs> Uh, you, you all say that Democrats have a deal with, um, you know, uh, SA and this, that, and the other, but you all are actually voting for and supporting someone who has been liable of SA. And then you have <laughs> Jim Jones Jordan. Yeah. I call him Jim Jones Jordan. Yeah. He's in the, uh, he's trying to be a speaker, and this <clears throat> man let his, uh, turned his back on his uh, wrestling team. Exactly. Allowed them to be SA. Mm. So, mm. so who's got the problem? I don't think it's that. You're right. You're okay. spot on. Thank you, Zeus. You're absolutely welcome, Southern Liv. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Southern Liv <laughs> a round of applause. But Southern Liv, I'll be honest, even though you were telling the truth with Snuggles' yeah. face on, it was hard to believe you. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I know it. I was <laughs> trying hard. to block it because yeah. I don't know how to get it yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you were saying, I'm like, you know, it's true, but you right <laughs> not you but yes. snuggles right all right no snuggles. no lie brown lie no. brown my brown he, he's the liar bye. Right. i know he's probably talking bye guys about, ladies and gentlemen let's <laughs> <laughs> bye guys. all right listen what we're doing over here ladies and gentlemen today is special right not only are we telling the truth and shaming the devil but we're also saving teddy bears, all right? Because teddy bear lives matter, right? <laughs> okay. Teddy bear lives matter, all right? Mega Slayer, all right? Good morning, my friend. How are you? I'm good. And speaking of shaming the devil, mm. who is the weakest Mega we know? Well... Are you talking about in the Rico case? No, no. I mean, as far as our circles. Oh, probably S Snuggles? Snuggles! That's right. Snuggles! Yes. I he just says... left his live. Uh, he came up. Somebody I know must have been in there because I certainly don't follow him. <sighs> and I went to explaining how Trump was basically guilty of dereliction of duty as he watched our nation's capital be attacked for three hours and seven minutes. Right. Boom! I was gone. I was instantly booted. Mm. He wow. is so weak. He's he so weak. He doesn't let people in there that tell him the truth, right? No, he's shame. allergic. What a and shame, Snuggles. And, and I, I'm surprised I didn't get a, a violation for harmful acts. I mean, I know he's allergic to facts, and I exposed yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. So, Sidney Powell, yeah. another brick has been taken out of the wall. Wow. That's the second one. That's the second one, along with Chris Hall. Mm -hmm. And they have to testify truthfully against Trump. Wow. And that means that the, the prosecution has already gone over their testimony and what information they have. Great. So it's got to be something that's worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah. It's another nail in the coffin for Donald Trump. All right. That's right. That's um, right. And so, so what do you think this does? Because, you know, there's other people involved. What do you think this does to these people who haven't taken a plea deal, but now I found this information out? What do you think it's doing in their world? Have you ever, are, are, are you familiar with dominoes? Yes. Yeah. They're, they're beginning to fall. <laughs> on, on that note, though, uh, Chesbro, apparently, from what, what's being said currently, mm -hmm. is he turned down the plea deal. Oh. So. Oh, but he turned well, it down before she took it, right? Yes. Yes. That was the thing. See, yeah. that was the thing. As long as everybody was stonewalling, it was cool. But yeah. now, now he has to go into court and think, what information is Sidney Powell giving them on top of all the other stuff he was trying to and, defend? And him. Chris Hall. Yeah. yeah. And the it's evidence over. they already have. Yeah. Yeah, it's over for you, Mac. It's over. Listen, Snuggles can't get a lie out fast enough. He's probably over there working overtime. He's working demon time right now, trying to get these lies out because he knows it's over. Well, Not let's keep have... in mind what they always say. Uh, were, were they convicted? Oh, yeah. 
Well, now well, she's convicted. She's she's convicted now. <laughs> Her case is over. It's done. It's over, MAGA. Oh my God. MAGA Slayer, living up to your name, right? Oh my. Such a sad little bunch. Yeah. Anyway, and again, to re reiterate what I said the other day that with that message I sent you. Yeah. Good work, my man. Tip of the hat. Thank you. That was that was eloquently spoken. Oh, when I went into the the Stacy Live. And yes. Yes. And you gave the kingdom. Yes, you said exactly what needed to be said. I couldn't have said it better myself, and I don't give that up. Wow. Well, I'm honored and thank you. Slayer. Yeah, that was that that was a speech. You yeah. know, that that was that was a tell good him. speech. Tell them. I try, you know, I have to defend the kingdom whenever it's under attack. And you know, that's why right now I'm I'm making it a clear thing to make sure I address Stacy and Janae. Uh well, out here in the I, open. I could literally hear your heart behind that one. So it was a good speech. Yes. Well, you put them in their favorite. place. Thank you. So I'll I'll let you go. Today's a day of celebration. Yep. They've 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 buried the kraken. Mm. Tell them. <laughs> Have em. a good one, my man. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Maga Slayer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Maga. We got Maga on the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally here. They didn't think President Biden won. And I kept telling them Biden won. They lied and they lied to their followers. They didn't think, uh, you know, they said there was going to be a red wave. They thought there was going to be a red wave. And I said, that's not going to happen. And we stopped it. And it's not even a red wave. If at best, it's a red drop, right? They didn't believe the indictments were going to come. Zeus, you think they'll indict a former president? Absolutely. Indictments are here. All right. Now they're moving the goalposts. Obviously, they're talking about convictions and jail time. Zeus, do you think Donald Trump is going to prison? Absolutely. Because it's all Republicans. It's all his supporters telling on him. I mean, if they let me do it, I'd have did it a long time ago. But I get it. We got to we got to follow the rule of law and allow the process to play out. And the process is playing out like it's designed to play. Listen. When you're sitting in front of a judge, and okay, and the judge, I've always said, you know what's stronger than a, a pew pew? You know what's stronger than a pew pew? This thing, the gavel. When that gavel comes down, it's handing out life sentences, and it got an unlimited amount of them to hand out. It don't got, you don't got to reload this thing. It does, you don't got to reload the gavel. It can hand it out. You, you get 22 years. You get a life sentence. You get another life. I'm going to give you five life sentences. Bam! And it, you see these people. I've seen hardened criminals just turn into marshmallows. They turn into marshmallows when they get in the courtroom and that judge starts sending them away to be around. If you're a guy, you're going to be around a bunch of nasty men the rest of your life. If you're a woman, they're going to put you around a bunch of nasty women. All right? You ain't going to ever eat steak the way you ate it before. Nope, you're not going to do it. You ain't never going to be able to go to church and Talk to your pastor. You ain't going to have a job. You're going to be sitting in a jail cell. Praying to God. You're going to really find your religion, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what Donald Trump and his supporters are dealing with right now. Sidney Powell, she had that conversation. and She said, if I don't take this plea deal, I will spend the rest of my life in prison. Like Zeus says. Because she listens to my lives. And if she doesn't, somebody next to her is listening to it. And they told her, listen, Zeus said... If you don't get it right now, you're going to be in jail. And if you don't stop, you're going to end up with your soul in hell. And Sidney Powell, ladies and gentlemen, she decided to take this plea deal. She did. And now the cat's out of the bag. I guarantee you all of the co-defendants right now are sitting there going, which one of us are going to flip next? All right? Because... It's over now, right? Next, next is going to be Rudy Giuliani. He's going to be, he's going to be very upset if Fonnie Willis doesn't offer him a plea deal. All right, that keeps his behind out of prison. He's already going broke. Listen, Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani, they're already going broke. All right, that's the first stage of getting somebody to get down on their knees and repent. You take away all the money. All right, because without the money, you're nothing. All the people you said loved you, they ain't going to love you when you're broke. You're about to be, you, Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump, and all these Trump supporters, 
they are finally being brought to justice. All right. And it's for the world to see. This is how our justice system works, ladies and gentlemen. And you can, and I got a lot of people in here right now that are very upset with me because I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm saying this to save your behind. Don't get triggered by what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth. All right, you folks out there, y'all do what? Y'all be drinking disinfectant? We just caught another one of you in the van with a stuffed animal? Turning the back of your van into a romper room. You think I care about what you folks got to say to me? Like I said, you don't like what I'm doing? If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, yeah. if you're not happy here, you can leave. If yeah. you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, yeah. very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Do you hear me, MAGA? All right? Again, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves for getting up every day, turning on this app, and embarrassing yourselves, looking like some plum dumb fools. All right? You really do look ridiculous at this point. What more information do you need to know that Donald Trump is guilty? Seriously. Sidney Powell just pled guilty. All right? What more evidence do you need at this point? All right? Seriously, think about it. Because as more of them start taking their plea deals and trying to save whatever life they thought they had left, you're going to start hearing more and more information that comes out. And to the gentleman that bet me and said, Zeus, if Donald Trump is convicted in court, I will apologize. I want my apology. All right. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to come for you on this app. Yeah. yeah, no lies detected, because listen, I've been saying it for so long to these Trump supporters. Uh, Donald Trump is guilty of the crimes he's being charged against. All right. Whether we're talking about how he mishandled those classified documents, whether we're talking about what he's got going on with the hush money payment with Stormy Daniels, whether we're talking about the election subversion case, all right? Whether we're talking about the fraud empire that he built, he's guilty, all right? And you continue to enable him because you don't want to face the truth. So guess what happens when you don't want to face the truth? It's like they say, you get smacked with it. <laughs> And you can sit here and cry on TikTok all you want and cry that you're a victim. You can sit there and say, Zeus, all you do is spread hate. You can say all of that all you want, but it's not going to change a thing. Donald Trump is going to prison, just like his supporters who went to the Capitol on January 6th are. Right? No lies detected. Over 1,400 folks are in prison because they attacked law enforcement on January 6th. All right? And you're going to sit out here on TikTok and try to complain about, a, about what? President Biden not doing enough with your behind? You don't deserve President Biden as far as I'm concerned. You're lucky he's allowing you to have the crumbs you do have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to get up out of here. You Trump supporters are disgusting. You make me sick. You really do. From the, bed, from, from the back of the van, these Trump supporters, they stay, y'all stay in the back of these vans. Y'all stay in the back of these U-Hauls. Y'all stay in some mess, don't you? And then you get out here and you say, you're Christians? Who believes you besides you and your friends? No one believes you're behind. That's why you're scared to turn on your cameras. That's why you got all these different accounts. That's why you're turning on each other all over this app. I go into these lives, you're turning on each other. Because again, there's no honor amongst thieves. And like the good book that you should have read says, A House Divided, Cannot stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. Take care. Have a, a very great rest of your morning. Two orphans, the most handsome I'm out of here. Kingdom. I love you all too. But somebody's got to go to jail. And it ain't me. This is how I move when I'm walking like Trump. Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking Take like Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry if I didn't get it.
Yeah, Tony yeah, Florida. I gotta get out of here. And, and, and MAGA got me a long time to get here, and I'm feeling brand new. If you live in like a dog, get away from me, fool. I got money on my mind. I can't hang around with you. I can't hang around with you. You fall in love too quick. You a high risk. Next all in the mix. I put a belly on your head. This is way above the floor. When you playing with the gods and you playing with the dead. Tell me let loose with the truth. Uh, Amanda, get a real profile. All you trust supporters, get a real account. Cause I'm sweet like a tooth. Hating on the God, so you can't start your own life and talk about it. Don't just talk about it, be about it. Snakes like a mongoose. These ladies love me, yeah. I'm the one that they choose. You know, I'm so handsome, that's why they call me. This is how I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. I like to act a fool when I'm moving like Zeus. So I'll be playing with my mood when I'm moving like Zeus. You are all the best. You're thinking that you're cool till I'm playing with Zeus. You're upset today. And I get it. Because MAGA took another L. And you're going to keep taking L's. And you're gonna go to jail, Amanda. And if you don't get your soul right, Amanda, you're gonna go to hell. It's not, thank you, Dark. It's nothing for me to send Trump and his supporters to hell. It really isn't. You know I'm so handsome. That's why they call me Zeus. Nobody scores in you to stay here. You can go to Russia, Amanda. You really can. We'll be with your Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. Thank you. Go, go hang out with Snuggles right now. I'm pretty sure you'll fit right in, right? No, don't wave to me. Don't wave to me, Amanda. What? No, no, we're good. You go wave to Snuggles, all right? Put those dirty, filthy hands down. I don't know where your hands have been. Trying to give me COVID or something. <laughs> He's the range. He's the range. He's the range. Hey! Donald Trump is indicted and they take one charge and they turn it into 36 charges. Right, 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 right. right. And this is why I don't mind. And this is why I don't mind sending Donald Trump and his supporters to jail or hell. Because I know how he understands it in his world. He thinks it's a he thinks when he's getting prosecuted. It's a good thing, right? He talks about his poll numbers are soaring, or he says it's a great badge of courage, right? Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of courage. Yeah, and on that note, to hell you go.